Hey there, my name is Lacey Byer with the Sweet Pea Chef, and I love burritos. But, since tortillas aren't the healthiest food for us because they contain a lot of saturated fats and refined flours, I had to come up with a different, healthier way to get my burrito fix. And I found it, and I think you're gonna love these slow cooker chicken burrito bowls too. So stick around and find out another healthy twist that kicks these bowls up even another notch. Let's get started. First, we need to get the chicken cooking in the slow cooker. So combine two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, six boneless and skinless chicken thighs, one diced yellow onion, one half diced jalapeno, one eight ounce can no salt added tomato sauce, one 14 and a half ounce can no salt added diced canned tomatoes, two teaspoons dried oregano, two teaspoons kosher salt, one teaspoon ground black pepper, one teaspoon cumin, one half teaspoon chili powder, a half a teaspoon garlic powder, a half a teaspoon paprika, and a quarter teaspoon cayenne into the bowl of the slow cooker. I like to use a combination of the chicken breasts and thighs for this recipe because they have a lot of flavor and adds to the juiciness. Now, just cover and cook on low for about four to six hours. When it's nice and tender, remove the chicken from the slow cooker and shred it into bite-sized pieces using your fingers or two forks. Now in a medium bowl, combine 15 ounces of the drained black beans and enough of the juices from the slow cooker besides the chicken. This will not only heat up the beans, but also flavor them for serving. It's gonna be super tasty. Then return the shredded chicken back to the slow cooker and mix it with the remaining juices. Instead of using regular rice for this meal, we're gonna make cauliflower rice and season it with some garlic. It's so good and it's a great way to add in extra fiber and other nutrients into your meal. There are two main methods to turn the cauliflower into rice-sized pieces. You can either use a kitchen grater and grate the cauliflower just like you would cheese, or you can use a food processor and break the cauliflower into florets. The food processor makes this process quick and easy, but the cheese grater is a lot easier to clean, so the choice is yours. Once you've turned one large head of cauliflower into cauliflower rice, it's time to cook it. Cauliflower rice can be roasted, microwaved, steamed, and stir-fried, and each method provides a slightly different texture and taste. Today, I'm gonna stir-fry in a large pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil and cook it over medium-high heat. So add the cauliflower rice and cook in the pan, stirring occasionally until the cauliflower is tender and just slightly golden brown, about seven to 10 minutes. Now, add in one and a half teaspoons kosher salt, a half a teaspoon pepper, and one half teaspoon garlic powder into the cauliflower rice and stir to combine. Totally easy, super healthy, and really ridiculously delicious new way to enjoy burritos again. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. To get my free beginner's guide on eating clean, click the link on the screen or in the description. As always, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe so you never miss our new weekly recipe videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time. the link on the screen or in the description and I love burritos, but since... <laughs>